Now that we've entered level three and the social distancing laws are a little bit more relaxed, we chat to intimacy coach Maru Lukaba to find out more about how this could be affecting our romantic relationships. She'll also give us tips on how to maintain a lockdown relationship that is healthy, happy and harmonious. Welcome back to The Loft, Maralu. Thank you. It's so nice to be back and to see you again. Absolutely. Now, we have entered alert level three and the social distancing laws are a little bit more relaxed. You know, people are having a bit more fun now. So how is this affecting romantic relationships? So the shift to level three has definitely affected a lot of romantic relationships with more being allowed. So I really think it depends on the couple and I think it depends on what happened during the time that the lockdown was a bit stricter. So let's look at couples who actually benefited from the lockdown. You can imagine a couple where maybe one or both partners were traveling a lot before and lockdown and quarantine actually gave them this opportunity to spend more time together. So for some couples, lockdown levels five and four was really almost like the strange second honeymoon that they were gifted. But then for other couples, it hasn't been that easy. It's actually been more challenging. So a lot of the relationship experts that I follow said that quarantine or lockdown brought out the truth about relationships, whether your relationship is in a good place or whether it is not in such a good place. And so for the couples or for the relationships where lockdown was a very stressful time, it is worth really looking at what those problems were and then you know where you can work on your relationship. So then what does happen with these couples who realize that they need to look at their relationship? Yeah, so as I said, like lockdown could bring an awareness to those parts of your relationship. So the thing that I always go back to is if you want to connect to each other, you need to have good, clear, honest communication. So that communication really can take you further into what you need to work on. So it's fine. Like Problems will always come up in relationships, but it's about being able to talk to each other about it, being able to be mature about it and be honest about it and then go, okay, cool. So this is a problem for us. What are we going to do about it? And every couple must decide what healthy and holistic looks like to them. And now looking at the alert levels, okay, we have moved to level three. So then how does this affect relationships? One thing that I feel we really have to talk about is the effect that alcohol has on relationships. So South Africa has been very unique in that we had this time period where um, alcohol, you, well, buying and selling alcohol was banned. And this might have changed the dynamics in relationships as well, whether for better or for worse. And I mean, we've seen the horrible news over the past few weeks just with um, domestic abuse like even femicide going up so much and the link between that and alcohol so in relationships where there is already like some level of abuse or um, some level of violence alcohol definitely added fuel to this fire so for many couples you know alcohol isn't a problem now they can have a glass of wine or a beer together and enjoy that but if alcohol does bring out the worst in your relationship. That's also something to look at. And if you are in a relationship where you feel that you or your family might be in danger with alcohol included in the mix, then please, please, please reach out to someone who can help you. Mm. Absolutely. I think it's crucial to look at how um, different substances affect us and affect us in relation to others. So thank you for that, that very important point, Marilu. Now, how about people that return to work? Yeah, so another thing that Lockdown Level 3 has done is it's made us more mobile. So again, there are positives and negatives to this for relationships. So let's look at the positive first. Mm. So being able to go back to work might mean that A, you now have extra sources of income. You know, money could have been an extra stressor to the relationship where now there can be an influx of money again. Um, another positive is that it does give distance in a relationship. So I really believe for partners, for a couple to be able to move towards each other, so to have that attraction for each other, there needs to be some form of distance. So lockdown has been such an unnatural situation for most couples. We live in a modern society where we're not used to being in each other's space 24-7. We're not built for that. Our lives aren't set up for that. So to be forced into a situation where your husband or 
wife or partner is now your roommate, your colleague, um, where they're in your space all the time, it's really, really unnatural. So being able to go back to work is allowing some breathing room again. And I think that's very important. Mm. Thank you so much for that, Marilu. And let's take a step outside of romantic, intimate relationships. What other advice could you give couples during this time, especially those that we see with extended family like children and pets? Yeah, definitely. So it does get more complicated the more people there are. This is human nature, right? Mm. And so I think the biggest um, challenge during lockdown was for bigger families and especially families with children. So having your children at home, not having, again, that breathing room, that space of them going to school has really brought up so much for so many couples. So for couples who are in that situation, in a family situation, I, I want you to be like you have permission that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay that your relationship might take a back seat for a while. Like if your biggest um, value is making sure that your children are fed, that your children are safe, mm -hmm. that your children are healthy, then maybe you're not able to connect with your partner that much. And that is okay. Lockdown is temporary. Um, this situation is temporary. So, but discuss that as a couple. Like, how are we going to move through this in the most gentle way while still looking after our children? But children definitely it adds such a different complexity to the mix, especially in terms of like time, energy, attention. So, it's okay to not be okay. Thank you for that reminder, Mara Louise. Definitely do appreciate it here on Afternoon Express. And I'm sure everybody at home right now has learned a little bit more about how to navigate the space in terms of their relationships. We appreciate you. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Again, clarifying how to navigate this tricky web that we might find ourselves in, it being alert level three of the national lockdown. How are you managing your romantic relationships? And do you have kids? Maybe you can help us on social media. Remember to use that hashtag, Afternoon Express.